Yeah. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's vlog. Um, give you Ho's you know, home. Do you know where I'm going to take him? Uh, I was reading the message. Um, but all the kids are home today. Caden's got a special appointment with Nigel Stewart very soon. Yeah, so Caden, brush your teeth, you gotta get your shoes on. I'll go find you some socks real quick. Do you need socks, honey? No, I don't Um, yeah, we've had a lot of tests and stuff done with Caden. Just checking all of his health out and stuff, and then, then they referred him to Nigel just to get double checked. So that'll be good. Nigel's like a pediatrician, I think, for children. Um, my brother's seen him because Nick had, I think it was ADHD and ODD when he was young. He's kind of grown out of it, but he still has it um, and shows symptoms of it, I guess you'd call it. But um, as an adult version, like he's not crazy now. Yeah, also, Jesse ordered a VR headset. He sold his drone so he could buy a VR, and that's coming today, so that's exciting. I'll have to show you that. Also, I'm wearing Caden's shirt because I like his clothes. Oh. Caden ain't got COVID. He got tested. Well, not tested, um. We just had to ask the question. Yeah, questions. Anyway, they're back. There's a lot of stuff. So, we have a little card thing to, um,. In January, we have to book him an appointment for May because I want to see him in six months. But basically, his testosterone is spiked in his blood test, which means he's going through puberty, which is cool. His weight gain could be related to the puberty or due to constipation because that's what they think is wrong with him because his body keeps trying to fill up because it doesn't know that it's full or something. It's because he's constipated. So we have to give him, do some Movicol thing. Got a bunch of information. I'll show you. Um, so on Friday we're going to give him a call because he's going to be pooping. But there's like this poop chart thing and just all information I've got to read. Hello. Happy birthday to you. Alright, there's a lot of things happened. One, Jesse got his VR thing, so I'll show you a bit of, bit of that later on. I had a quick shot, it's pretty cool. Secondly, Eliza J is going to have some... Casting. Yeah, yeah. Thirdly, I made lunch. Fourthly, I've been off shopping, no. so I have a lot of shit to show you. But we're gonna eat first, so I want to show you what Eliza thinks. She hasn't actually had chocolate custard before. She's had vanilla, so we'll see what she thinks. Look how she eats it. Jesse. How's that, little boy? Got your casted. You can do it. Big girl. Oh. Go squish it a little bit, baby. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna do the little op shop haul that I got. Um, I'll start off with Caden's stuff because it's right here. So I did get him some new clothes. Oh, lovely. I need to do an online order for him as well because he's going for the next size in clothes and he just needs some new stuff. So I'll do that eventually. But I found him a couple of bracelets which are pretty cool. I'm going to try and show them as best I can. Um, this one's a dragon one. So that was kind of cool. It's two dragons that link. So Jackson's a bit whingy because it's play VR. Yeah, I know, mate, I know. Then I found him this skull one. These are both a dollar each. Hopefully it shows up. I'll have to tap. So that one's pretty cool. It's a stretchy one. Then I got him just a plain pair of black shorts. These were all pretty much in a bag sale, all the clothes pretty much. So I only paid probably $10 at the most for all the clothes. Oh, this one's got the price on it. This one was $2.25 and it says, this is my zombie killing shirt, which I thought was pretty cool. Okay. And I also got him this Quicksilver singlet. And then just this, I think this is just a Kmart brand. 
um, shirt because it's good to have just some plain shirts around. Then I found him a Zoo York t-shirt, which is pretty cool. <laughs> You're right. Windy, windy. I'm so bored. Oh, poor little boy. Then I found him this Element one. So I found some pretty cool brand name stuff, which is nice. So that was what I got Caden. Pretty sure. Um, next is Jackson stuff. So he's gone up the next size as well. Sort of. Like, he's got a tiny waist, so it's hard for clothes to fit him. You kind of need to get ones that adjust or whatever. But shirts, he needs the next size up. So I got him this white shirt. And then, what's this one? I got in this cool Star Wars shirt. I found him a couple shirts. So it's like it looks like he'll he'll be um, looking exactly like Jesse. So that Star Wars one is one. Then I found this cute little dress shirt. Um, a plain, just like random shirt. I found him this cool hat. I thought it was kind of interesting. I don't know what it is or anything, but it was a dollar fifty. So I thought whatever. Grab it. Another one that's like a Jesse kind of shirt, which is kind of cute. Is the Ghostbusters one? Is that fun, Bobby? She just had a chocolate custard. She is so dirty. You would have seen it actually before this clip. Um, then another just random shirt. This um, I did get him a jumper because our weather's really weird at the moment. It is a cotton on kids in a size eight. It's pretty cute. And then I got him this to do. I'm gonna teach him how to. Do that, that'll be fun to do together. It was only 50 cent, which is pretty good. And I found this Phonautics um, story time book. So they, be fucked. Jesse, this book is $225. Fuck, be fucked, eh? Granith. Well, that's kind of um, crazy. $225. Anyway, he, he does this at school. This is what they actually, how they learn, so. He actually sat and read a bit of it, which is pretty cool. The illustration um, is cute, so I thought that was pretty cute. But $225, bitch, I would not be paying that. Ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way, bitch. Um, so I think that's all I got for them. Um, I did get a bunch of Christmassy stuff because they, their Christmas stuff was really cheap. So I host Christmas every year um, with my family. So I found this Pin the Nose on the Santa. Christmas party game, so I thought that would be quite cute. I'm gonna start getting Christmas stuff that we need for hosting, so that was a dollar. I got a bunch of gift bags because these are quite expensive at the shop, honestly. I think like that one would probably be like three bucks, maybe four bucks, and I got it for uh, 80 cent. So I got that bag, I'm just gonna quickly show you them all. I got this one for 80 cent because like we're obviously gonna use them because we buy people things for Christmas and whatnot. Um, these are all 40 cents each, so I got two with the red bow, one with the reef. Um, they're originally from Woolies, so they would have been a couple bucks, so I got them for 40 cents each. Another 40 cent one. So I always like dig around, so these are actually put underneath the Christmas table, like you can pull the tubs out. So I always make sure I dig around when I go op shopping because it's like, yeah, worth doing. And then I got this one, which is originally $8, and I got it for 40 cent, no, 30 cent, so. Yeah, they won't go amiss. I will definitely use all of them. Then I also found this cool gift box for 50 cent. You can see the other side. And then just some gingerbread scratch and sniff stickers. The kids love scratch and sniff. <laughs> scratch and sniff. Fuck. Scratch and sniff stickers. These are 25 cent. Um, another gift bag for 30 cent. All different sizes. The bigger sizes tend to go up for a couple bucks. Um, and I will probably end up getting some of them, but yeah. Um, some gift tags for 20 cents. And then these are so cute. Oh, that one was 30 cents, these ones were 50 cents. So these are also gift tags, and these are like really cute ones, and they're only 50 cents each. They don't have an original price on them. And then I also got this one for 30 cents. They're from Big W though, so. Oh, really? So I got that Christmas chemise. Um, I got this hat for four dollars because I kind of need one when I'm out because I get sunburned to shit. Um, I quite like it. I was like trying hats on in the shop, like trying to find one. I'm not really a hat person, but this one's kind of cute. So I got it. I actually got another one as well, which I think Jackson was wearing, so it might not be in this pile. 
Um, but it's, I don't really like that one, but it was like really cheap, so I just grabbed it. I got myself a pair of jeans. They're size 14, ultra skinny. Like you can never have too many jeans, so I always buy them when I see them in good condition. Found this for Nicole. It's in a size 20 to 22, so it's massive, but um, she loves pugs, so I was like, whatever. Like, who cares if it's oversized, really? Because she's probably like she's obviously just gonna wear it home. But it says Pugly Monday. That was cool. Um, Eliza needs hats. Like all the ones I have just don't fit her. So I got a size zero one and another one. Let's try them on. All right, Eliza, I need your head to my All right, we got this rainbow one. <laughs> bit big. And that's what she does. Takes them off. That one's a bit big. Can we try the blue one? Oh, she cute though. Ooh, I like that one, baby. <laughs> she don't. She bloody hates that. Most kids do. So I got to them. They were just uh, 50 cent each, I think. All right, I got myself some clothes. This one, I'm not too sure, and it's a size 16, so it's gonna be too big. Um, but I thought it, it wouldn't really matter if it was oversized, but it's a really cute shirt thing, I don't really know. Um, you wear it with high waist and stuff, so. That, and then this um, is super cute just to wear over singlets and stuff. So I got that, and like, it's like summery. I wear a lot of black and that's like white, so it's good. This says seed teen sport size 12, so maybe this ain't my size, I don't know, but they're just some shorts for at home. Nothing crazy. Then I found these shorts, they're called Target Active um, size 12, so they're like black shorts, but they have like the tight thing underneath. I don't know what it's called. There we go. Yeah, so they have the typing underneath for like working out and whatnot, so you don't get um, chafing, I think. And then I found Eliza a couple of pairs of bathers. She actually has a set at the moment, so I don't know if I'll need them, but I just thought they were cute. So I got this size zero little mermaid bathers because it's like hot. She's probably gonna use, probably will get use out of them, honestly. Where's uh, that other bathers? I can't find the other, oh, here they are. These ones were brand new with the tag on from Cotton On Kids originally. 20 bucks, size 12 to 18 months, so these ones won't fit it for a bit. Um, they're pretty cute. As I said, they've still got the tag, which is pretty cool. Toys North. So they're like, yeah, brand new. It's almost nine o'clock and Eliza's finally down. She's been really, really fighting sleep today. Like, it's not normal for her. Normally, um, she's pretty chill. If she has a nap, she goes from when she's tired and that, but she's actually really fighting it today, so it's been hard. But she's finally down now. Jackson's in bed, Caden's having a shot with the VR. But I think I'm gonna get ready for bed. The house is a fucking mess. But I'm gonna clean it tomorrow. Hopefully, I, I really hope I've got motivation to do this shit tomorrow. It's a mess. But anyway, I'm gonna chuck some clothes in the wash. Then I'm gonna get ready and head to bed. Um, but thank you for watching and I will see you for tomorrow's vlog, guys. Bye. Uh, also, I will show you some VR stuff when we do it again, which is probably gonna be tomorrow. Instead of tonight, because I'm tired. <laughs> Alright, see ya.